So, like the bochinches is that um, the people across the street, right? I mean, like the husband, apparently, they didn't even like own that house. Like the mother owned the house, and she gave the grandmother, excuse me, the grandmother owned the house and gave it to the son. And he didn't even want to live there anyway, but he lives there. And I bet you it's like rent free and stuff. And he's like totally compulsive disorder. Because what he does is he goes out and then this lawn. He does his whole lawn. And then two days later he'll do it again. And then he goes out there with a scissor. And he trims the lawn. And he makes sure that every little piece is perfectly even. Is that not crazy or what? They weren't even happy with us moving in the neighborhood anyway. They probably liked all of those gay guys. Ugh. You know, keep my son away. And here we come driving in. We got two kids and everything like that but still like you know people did give us those looks but then most of the people were really friendly in this neighborhood like the people next door they didn't speak any english they just moved in they were from peru such a sweet family very nice though this morning though i heard the mother she was yelling at the two kids oh my god she's like i don't know what she was saying but she was screaming it out to the kids She's got two daughters, and I think one is like 12. So, you know, mm -mm, she's getting that pre breast age and attitude and everything. Mm -hmm. Let me see. And the lady next door to us on this side, that side, she's like 99 years old. She's still out there, mows her own lawn, goes shopping. You know, it's a really nice neighborhood and stuff. The people behind us, lesbitarians, two lesbitarians. Really sweet, really, really sweet. They got two little dogs, one little dog kind of yaps a lot like really 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 like 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 that really loud but like amplify it like times 20 um let's see who else in this neighborhood oh there's phyllis over there oh my god phyllis knows everybody's business she knows everybody's names everybody's kids she knows what color you have in your house she knows what you're cooking that day for dinner i mean everything she must be psychic i don't know personally maybe she goes around with the with, you know, binoculars or something. But she's really, really sweet, and she watches all the kids in the neighborhood and stuff. You know, because we do live on a semi-busy street, and a lot of people do drive around here like maniacs. You know, it's supposed to be 35, and people go like 45. I swear we need, like, speed bumps or something, because just recently, I think somebody did get into an accident down the street. They hit somebody. But that's, like, the, not the first time they did this, so you would think they would change it to the 25 miles an hour. Like, what's going on? Anyway... I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about my neighborhood. I like my neighborhood. I think I like my neighborhood. We're going to Costco's over there. We're growing a Costco, excuse me. Like I came out, we put the seeds in there. We're, they're building a Costco's on 22, so I'm pretty excited about that. I can't wait till that opens up because I'm not really crazy about BJ's anymore. Besides, it's like 10 minutes away and Costco's will be like a minute away. You do the math. Peace.